please go subscribe to the Rumble channel for Franchise Sports TV under the name FSTV22. Now, I'm using that Rumble channel for any purposes of me getting kicked off YouTube and also for more of my spicier joints. It's free as well. I have the freedom to say whatever I want to say as well. So go subscribe to FSTV22. That is Franchise Sports TV 22 on Rumble. What up, everyone? Franchise Sports TV back again with another video. And, uh, whoo! We Metro booming over here on this channel now. But we're also Metro booming with the, you know, the LaCroix. They're loud and, I don't know about proud, but they're loud. In the comic section yeah. before I go in nothing they say really 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 gets me it doesn't hurt me I got thick skin it don't hurt me cuz uh, for one y'all don't know me for two we just talk on our basketball here but some of y'all be trying to go for the juggler and it don't work and then you get all mad and in your feelings when I come for the juggler but anyways um, but yeah, the the La Choir, the La Stone Troopers, the La Stands, the word I don't want to say anymore because I guess you can get hit for it on YouTube, but they all in full effect and I love it. It's going to keep me, uh, make me, you know, it's going to keep me going. I won't stop. I won't stop too hot. Subscribers going to boost. And I guess in their words, I'm making money on LeBron. But they also said we won't make money after LeBron retires. But there will always will be someone else. There's always someone else. You just think when Jordan stopped, everything else stopped in the NBA? Hell no. Look what's going on now. But anyways. It's not the point, but it is the point. But uh, I apologize that I can't get to all you guys' comments because I have like five or six different videos of just going crazy right now in the comment section I right. it's not even six videos it's probably like five or four videos and then six or ten posts it's crazy I can't keep up uh, but I got the haters probably subscribing to the channel because uh, the subscriber boosted up in the last couple of days so they hate me but they still watch me but anyways I want to talk about this comment I saw from one I think he's a subscriber um Gregory Dotson 676 uh, He said something that's very interesting That I've been saying uh, For the longest time Wow And as I'm reading in the replies to this The The, the little sick of fans are really at it but anyways, whatever. But here's what the subscriber had to say. And this is what he says. All of this started through a woke social media platform that are always trying to downgrade and destroy history though, through their false narratives. Which is true. That's what ESPN, the purpose of ESPN is now for. They put these people out here, these fake journalists, these terrible journalists who never did anything, probably being paid under the table by Clutch Sports, which some people don't understand how powerful they really are. I do give it this. LeBron is mighty powerful when it comes to his clutch sports brand. That's why we call him the Homelander over here. The Emperor. The Dark Side. When things he when he wants things done in the media, he can get them done. See, this is the problem. Some people don't understand that the rich folk, the old rich folk, not so much like LeBron, but people with more money, older money, that been around longer than him, they can easily uh, change the narrative and tell you what you want to hear. But that's another video for another day, a historical video that's not in deal with sports. But anyways, keep going on. The purpose is to know how to uh, change the narrative that are ignorant and foolish that thinks just playing numbers for a suffice. But we all know if that was just by the numbers alone. Then why these same fake media hounds didn't call first Wilt Chamberlain or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar the GOAT back then? Wilt has most of the records. Kareem had the scoring record when he passed Wilt. And the media never called him GOAT. These are facts. They never did. Why? 
because the fake media hounds didn't like Will or Kareem. That's why. The yeah. Uh, especially Kareem. He was not a big fan of the media. He hated the media. He thought they was uh you know the R word. Now I won't say on here. And um, this is the thing about Wilt and Kareem, even Bill Russell, they had to deal with a lot of stuff off the court when it comes to racial issues. But um, moving on. But yeah, they didn't like Wilt or Kareem. They don't even like Kobe. They never liked Kobe. Since 2003, they didn't like Kobe. And contrary to what these Lestands think, especially towards the end of Jordan's career, it wasn't. I wouldn't say they wasn't a big fan of Jordan, but they criticized Jordan a lot. And Jordan, Jordan always put it on his shoulders and, as a leader, put it on his back when they lost and blamed himself. Not putting people out and throwing people under the bus in the media. But anyways, now why do you think the media wants to put LaFraud James as the GOAT? This is what this woke culture does. They think that partition uh, awards counts for some. By the fact, it counts for nothing. This is true. They've done this in other sorts of media as well. But I'm going to get to that later. This is why they don't ever, ever, ah, sorry. This is why they don't want to ever bring up LeBron James losing finals records, which stands at four and six. That is a losing record. Also, they don't want to bring up his record against the teams that won 50 or more games, which Kobe actually decimates LeBron in. And he played in a weak Eastern Conference, and that's why he could go to the finals eight straight years in a row almost. But then when he plays better competition, he loses. This is why he started to form these super teams. Facts. But yet, he still got a losing record in the finals. Not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Why are they still waiting? But this is the woke culture. Does it try to distort and destroy history by fake narratives or propaganda? Not the truth, mind you, but the woke ideology of the irrelevant. They are always bringing up something that's irrelevant to suit them, to suit the given narratives. And that's the end of the comment section right there. And everything he said was facts. Everything he said is true. And they do this not just with sports. They do this with other forms of entertainment, movies, when it comes to franchises. They want to erase perfect example. Of that. They try to act like whatever came before in the Star Wars um, franchise. The original trilogy, even the prequels, they wanted to act like that never happened and replace it with Ray Skywalker. Stupid stuff like that. They even do it with the uh, MCU, calling Captain Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel the first Avenger. That type of stuff. Knowing damn well we know Captain America was. And they do it in the history books too, mind you. LeBron, and uh, I should say the media in general, they run like a propaganda machine. Like they run it in a communist country or something like that. Or a dictatorship country. This is the type of stuff they do. And they beat you on the head and beat you on the head and beat you on the head until you actually believe it. And it's the same thing when it comes to the whole and political news as well. They'll, especially now that the media, political media and media in general just leans left. If you are in the middle of the spectrum politically or uh, what they call well if you ain't even in the middle they call you the n-word not the other way word the n-a-z-i word or yeah if you're anywhere from the middle to all the way to the right and they even eat their own and what i mean when they eat their own if one of them one of them lefties don't agree with the other one they will come after that lefty and destroy them or act like he's irrelevant. Mob think. Mob mentality. It's like these LeBron fans that keep coming on here. See, on the contrary of what they know that I say on my channel, I do have LeBron at number nine. I don't know how long is that going to stay, but he is at number nine on my top ten list, but they ignored that because, you know why? Because... Uh, either LeBron is number one or you're a hater. That's how bad it's gotten. But they keep trying to come over here and accuse me of being a Jordan nut hugger, but uh, 
I'm just putting out the facts of what Jordan has done in his career. And they also can never, ever, 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 ever explain anything on how Jordan is not better than LeBron. They just keep saying he got the scoring record. Longevity, which longevity means nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. They can't back anything with facts. We can back plenty of facts with stats, as they like to do. Stats, eye tests. It's crazy. They don't want to acknowledge that 5,000, um, 5K turnover record, over 5K now. They don't want to acknowledge that. They act like that don't exist. They keep trying to say Kobe has the most missed shots, even though LeBron is very, 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 very around the corner with that in the next couple of games. They'll be quiet about that. They don't want to admit to what happened in the NBA Finals back in 2011. They ignore that and act like it never happened. They got no explanation for that. I even asked one of these freaking listands, can you answer any of my questions? Some of the questions I just named. Why did LeBron disappear in 2011? Why does he keep building super teams? Why can't he do it alone? Why does he choke under pressure? Why does he pass the ball under pressure? We know why, but they can't answer that. What makes LeBron better than Kobe? They still can't answer that. They just keep answering it by saying, oh, he missed shots. He missed more shots. Analyze the era that Kobe playing in. Oh, Kobe... Kobe, as a high school, didn't have to lead a team. Well, if you know that Dale Harris, the coach at the time when um, Kobe was first drafted to the Lakers, did not want to play rookies that out of high school. Didn't want to play rookies at all, especially ones out of high school. They don't understand anything. They don't know anything, but they come to my damn channel saying, I don't know anything. They come to Basketball Facts channel telling about he don't know anything. They go to Two Ross channel, telling him he don't know anything. They go to Dreamers Pro channel, tell him he don't know anything. They go to the old angry, uh, I think his name is the old angry basketball fan. They go to this channel and they tell him he don't know anything. I think another one is out there, Sports Rants and Fitness. They tell him he don't know nothing. So when it comes down to, they really don't know anything. They never can explain it. They just want to throw insults out there. Because that's what the mob does. Mob mentality does. Nothing but a bunch of NPCs just saying the same old thing. And then when you press them, they disappear. Because they know we're right. And that's why some of them stay on our channel, subscribe to our channels, because they know we right. It's funny. It's very funny. But this is how the media propaganda machine works. It creates a bunch of NPCs that can't think for themselves, and they just repeat whatever and whatever, with no thought in Thought, uh, thoughts of their own with it. And let me tell you, uh, little sick of fans out there, for you, just a little insight that I share probably with people who've been subscribed to this channel for some time now. Like most of us people on here that be putting out facts about LeBron or in the NBA in general, most of us was LeBron James fans. Most of us saw, oh, we saw LeBron James as what. The Jedi Order saw, or some parts of the Jedi Order saw Anakin Skywalker. They saw Anakin Skywalker as the chosen one, a breath of fresh air to the Jedi. And then they realize maybe he's not. LeBron's too far gone with this. Whenever since he's gotten to LA, he's gotten weird. And Ever since and he got more and more entrenched with uh, uh, everything else, with the weirdos in higher places, I have become less and less, less and less of a fan. To the point I'm not even a fan anymore. And that's what happened. One, one time I was. Not anymore. And let me tell you about LeBron when it comes to the woke agenda. He's just a puppet, y'all. 
just the puppet just to put up there to tell you how to vote tell you what you should think this is what they do with all these uh, entertainers and artists and musicians and uh, athletes they put them up there because you know you guys like them and you know you're going to listen to them it gets them to vote the way they want you to vote and LeBron James is no different probably making deals in the back to put him as probably one of the best NBA basketball players ever if he goes out and does his marching orders. And this is how it works. Either you like it or not.